Fred here, welcome back to the Gear Up Session channel. I have and am going to continue to take a break from YouTube just for a little while. Now, for you longtime subscribers or even people who just subscribed, I think I owe you an explanation, so here we go. The, the main reason is I've been doing this for years and years and years, and I just need to relax and rest a little bit. I got a lot going on at home and a lot going on at work and I just need to decompress just a little bit. I have several medical issues which resting would do a lot of good <laughs> because I don't rest enough especially my back. For those of you who follow me a long time know I don't have the best back in the world. I had one doctor tell me I have the back of a 70 year old so just laying down a little bit more can do a lot of good so I need to do that. I'm also getting a little burnt out. A lot of products are the same. A lot of products are from GearBest if you had noticed. This is not the GearBest channel. This is the Gear Obsession channel. I review things that are my obsessions. Now I'm not saying that GearBest is a bad company. They are a great company. You give good products, inexpensive. The only bad thing is you gotta wait a little while because it is shipping from China. But I'm going to get a lot pickier. This is the Gear Obsession channel, not the Gear Best channel. So I told them, look, the things that I'm going to okay are things that are very unique and different. I'm not going to keep on reviewing uh, another knife, another knife, another knife. And they are so similar that it just it's boring me. And I know it got to be boring you guys. And speaking of bored, a lot of flashlights, a lot of knives, a lot of vaping gear are just so similar these days. They're not revolutionary and they're not even evolutionary in some cases. There's so many um, minute changes now that it's just boring me to death. So I need things that are different. Something that's revolutionary, you know, very u or unique or a crazy good price where okay this is a great deal I don't want you to pass it up. Speaking of unique things I do have a couple of things that I have purchased over the last two weeks and uh, one of them is a crossbow. <laughs> I'm just getting into it so again my obsession becomes part of this channel. Uh, I also purchased a stove that uses gas. Um, a Coleman stove and that's kind of important because when you think back to the hurricane that just hit um, Florida and even Texas a lot of people ran out and bought gas and they probably well those smart ones ran out and bought gas especially the ones in Florida because gas eventually ran out but you might end up with a lot of gas left over and then that gas over a year or two starts going bad what do you do with it so I thought you know what maybe if I get like a gas stove I could just use it to um, cook so it's not wasted I don't have to bring it to some disposal place and just dispose it so um, Got some cool things coming up. And then there's YouTube. Google is sucking the life out of what YouTube used to be. Now when I first started this like six, seven, maybe years ago, um, I just did it as a hobby and there was no monetization in YouTube back then. And then um, they started doing ads and, and mon not monetization, but I think they called it uh, ad revenue is what they called it. Where you know, after you got a certain amount of viewership, then you could apply, and then they would say, okay, you got ad revenue. And uh, that viewership really spiked when Mad Bad Voodoo did a shout out for me, and I still appreciate it, we'll never forget it. Uh, so then I was able to take the stuff that I was buying that were my hobbies and do reviews and get a little bit of money back, take that money, buy a better camera, buy. Um, in my case, a Mac with the Final Cut Pro video editing, which is not cheap. This camera is not cheap, 800 bucks. I put the money back into the YouTube channel, just so you know. I don't spend it out of the YouTube channel. So I kept it, you know, in a circle where I'd buy things that I like that are my obsessions, do the reviews on YouTube, get the money, and then invest it into my channel. Then YouTube sort of started changing things. They said, okay, we're not going to do ad revenue. We're going to do AdSense. Or they just changed the name or something. But one thing I noticed when they said, you got to go to this new website now to see how much you're making. Um, and they went to the new system or whatever it was. All of a sudden, my revenues started dropping where I was making at, at some point about half of what I used to make. Um, however, my subscribers and viewership and viewing and everything didn't go down. 
Um, then as time went on and on and on, um, it dropped even more. You know, the monetization is now a quarter of what it used to be. It, it might even be less than that. It's really sad. Um, I was hoping one day that I could actually make a living doing this. I could sort of retire from my job when, you know, I, YouTube wasn't going to influence when I was going to retire from my real job. But um, when I retire, then I could go ahead and supplement my old age money <laughs> or whatever it be with doing YouTube and, you know, just keep things going, keep the mind going and make some money. But YouTube destroyed it. They destroyed it for little people. Uh, bottom feeders like me with these little channels and they really are only catering to the very large channels or the channels that they are creating. Then there's the censorship thing that's gotten me a little upset, actually a lot upset. I noticed that a lot of the gun channels had their monetization pulled and that's how I started doing uh, gun channels. I've seen some of it even um, things that are not even guns are considered evil like uh, I reviewed this guy, this is a Geiger counter, um, because I probably said words like nuclear and, and apocalypse or attack or something in there. They just pulled the monetization off that video and didn't even tell me. I had to go back and actually see it in my listing of videos and all of a sudden the little dollar sign disappeared because I saw that other YouTubers were complaining about it. Um, that's messed up. That's messed up a lot that they would pull it and not even tell you. Then I noticed that if you if you talk about things that they deem controversial, you know, you it, it, this is just crazy. I mean, this is censorship. Um, but they they sort of say that okay, well, people who are advertising don't want to advertise if you say these things on your channel. So, we're just going to pull the video or pull the monetization or say that it requires a certain age or not listed in the search or things like that. That's wrong. That is so freaking wrong. Um, now you could argue that YouTube or Google is a private company but you know what? You're pretty much a monopoly these days like almost like a utility. Um, YouTube is the de facto standard for doing videos and putting them out there on the internet. So what I what I say to Google uh, or YouTube is that the people who are doing ads should be able to stay okay I want my ads to show up on videos of this type and then me uh, a content provider would also say um, list these are the things that I talk about in my channel and then if they match up what you both like then the ad would show up. Um, it shouldn't be the thought police at Google or whoever they hire to decide that this is okay and this is not okay um, and, and just censor stuff. It's wrong. It really is. And it has me worried because it's trending and it's getting worse and worse and worse. It's not getting better. So uh, a lot of companies have tried to get some new video um, platforms off the ground but none of them are really sticking very well I keep an eye out for them as a possible solution also my wife helped me out that when my monetization and, and money off of YouTube dropped I started doing affiliate links she had suggested it um, it's worked out pretty good it's helped offset some of it it, it keeps my channel rolling um, I can't keep it up as well if I don't have the money to invest into the channel you know, to keep up with video equipment, video editing, and computers, and things like that, uh, it, and get products to review. So I, I need, now I'm not asking for any money. I don't want any money from you. I don't want to do that, that thing where you can get Patreon or something. I don't want to do any of that. Don't suggest it. I just don't. Um, I like earning. I'm not saying that's bad but I, I just I'm not cyber begging is probably the term I'm looking for I just letting you know I'm um, just why I just need to take a break now speaking of break which is why I'm doing this video this is probably be about another month give or take a week I just feel I owe it to you to let you know what I'm doing also um, I would like to thank everybody up front for understanding and your patience with this um, I really appreciate it, but mostly um, 
the reason why I'm taking this break is just to relax and rest a little bit. Take a break, take a vacation. All right, thank you very much for joining me here at the Gear Obsession channel. I really do appreciate every friend, viewer, subscriber, and especially you. And I hope you have a great day or evening, and I will see you in about a month. Take care. Bye.